Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video we're going to cover five uses for your laser and four of them are not the product that you're making. Let's get into it. Number one is your actual product. Now whether this is creating a product from scratch out of raw materials or sheet materials or just engraving a product that you buy, like a tumbler or coaster or something like that. These types of things are the number one use I think most people associate their laser with because that is what is going to make you money right off the bat. Number two is your product packaging. Now, I've seen this with a lot of people. They do use their laser to create product packaging but I've also seen beginners that don't know that you can do this. So you can cut things like EVA foam. You can also cut boxes out and engrave boxes and things like that to make your packaging really stand out. You can also combine it with other technologies like printing or whatever you might wanna do and add color to that as well. I'll actually put a, an image on the screen of a product packaging that I did recently uh, so you can get an example of what combining, in my case, UV printing and a laser did, but you can do a lot of cool things with just your laser as well. Number three is making jigs. So here's an example of a jig that I have made before on my laser. This is to engrave coasters. So this coaster will fit perfectly inside of that space. This is made specific for the laser that I'm using. What I can do is make one of these corners my reference point that always goes in the same spot. I can fit, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, so 18 coasters on this jig. I go in, I put 18 coasters in there, and then I can engrave them knowing that the design will land perfectly in the center every time. This will save you a ton of time if you are doing products uh, that you purchase you can lay them out on your jig and perfectly space everything out so that your design lands exactly where you want and you don't have to do them one at a time. You can do 18 in one run and you can kind of just let it work while you're doing other things. The fourth thing is to create marketing items. Now these are things that you're probably not going to make money off directly. You're not going to sell these in a lot of cases but they will help advertise your business. You can put them in with packaging and orders and things like that. One thing is you can make tabletop displays where you engrave and paint fill stuff so that you can do a QR code for your business. I've done business cards, I've done magnets, uh, pretty much anything you can think of that's a little freebie to give to customers to help them remember your business. You can create those things as well. And the last thing is going to be organization around your shop. Now I've created different things like brackets for my panels that hang on my wall. I've done uh, boxes to organize things. I've done shelving on the laser as well. Now it may be cheaper to actually buy organization in some cases. Uh, it can be cheaper at times as well to use material that you have left over create little bins and, you know, uh, say pencil holders, whatever, that you can already make on your laser. You can generate files pretty quickly with online design generators for boxes and get something pretty quick. Now, I say this because these are all things that you can do with your laser, but I think we get so focused on how we can make money with it by just selling products that we don't think how they can make our lives and our businesses better with the other categories of things that I do with it that don't directly impact, I would say, a sellable product, but they do help create efficiencies, organization, and make things faster on the back end that do end up saving me money in my business that you can then translate uh, into cost savings and more profit long term. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of all of these, but I'm curious, what do you use your laser for that isn't just selling products that you make from it? Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what they are. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. 
Uh, let me know if you like videos like this where they're informational and shorter uh, and what kind of topics you'd like to learn because I would always like to see those. Put those in the comments below as well. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.